Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your September reading. So this is general for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer. Let's take a look and see what the energy is coming in to the month, what's influencing recent past, what's on your mind throughout September, why it's all happening, what will you experience in the near future, how you see yourself, who or what is in your environment coming in that you don't see, hopes and fears, and we'll get your outcome. We're also going to use a separate deck to clarify, so make sure you hang out to the end of the reading because with those clarifiers, the storyline can certainly take a change. Also, too, at the end, I'm going to let you know how you can get yourself a free private reading from me. So stick around to the end. All right, Cancer, let's see what you need to know about September. Let's do it. I hope you're doing well. Hey, if you're here and you like the reading, make sure you smash the like button, comment, share the video, do all that good stuff. It really does help my channel. And I thank you guys so much for all your support. All right, coming in. What's the energy? Ooh, okay, Cancer, Ace of Wands. You might be surrounding yourself with a Leo Sag Aries or this is that excitement, it's that spark, it's new, it's feeling passionate towards something, it's giddy, it could be an attraction. What's influencing that Ace of Wands? Oh my gosh, the Ace of Swords. You definitely have something new coming in. <laughs> you got two Aces right out of the gate. So we've got air energy, but the Ace of Swords is communication that's going to get you excited. You're moving in a new direction. This is the truth that Ace of Swords is bringing clarity and the truth. It's always the victory and yes card for me. It also clears your mind. You're going to see a path. What's on your mind, Cancer? You've got the Five of Wands. If this is something to do with work, your career, it could be a competitive situation, right? Five of Wands on your mind is everybody's fighting for that wand. This can be conflict with the Five. It can be some drama, maybe even jealousy. So there could be a competitive situation going on here in every aspect. We'll clarify and see. You might have some inner conflict moving towards something new as well. What happened in the recent past? Well, you were done waiting around. You've got the hanged man in reverse, major arcana for Pisces. This is releasing. This is letting go. I'm no longer going to sit around in a stalemate situation. It's time to let it go. Perhaps you were waiting around for something to take off, but it feels like something new or this restart is coming. It feels more new to me because you made a decision to let go. Why is it all happening in September? Six of Pentacles. This is going to bring something that's more balanced, Cancer. Equal pay. You know, you're getting, you know, you're earning what you deserve. If it's a work situation, giving and receiving in relationships, that's all relationships. Even friendships or family. People are not taking from you as much, right? This is going to be a more balanced give and take relationship. Some of you are, uh, you're owed some sort of money, and it'll cut you'll you'll get the yes answer through communication. You're getting that money back. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the five of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This goes back with this five. We've got two fives showing up in your reading, which indicates some sort of challenge. And it's because this five of swords wants to win at all costs. This definitely feels like some sort of competitive situation. You know it's gonna bring either a more balanced relationship or more money your way. But there's other people that are like, I'm going to do whatever I need to do, Cancer. I'm going to win at all costs. I mean, that's what it is. He's standing there. Everybody's walking away. He feels like he's won, but he hasn't really won. He's just cutting, right? And sometimes that Five of Swords can be nasty, manipulative energy to get what you want. All right. Let's see who this loser is. Who's doing this to Cancer? We're going to find the F out. How do you see yourself throughout September? Seven of Cups. The whole world is starting to open. So here's your water energy with the cups. This is my options are opening. Yeah, you guys are definitely getting more attention. You're getting more options. You're going to be busier. You may even feel a little bit overwhelmed, right? You might, as far as love, you might have a couple suitors here. Uh, for some of you, Cancerians, it, it would be like maybe a newer connection, but you're still maybe around somebody else and they're like, oh no, Cancer, I'm going to win you at all costs. It's something like that. We know there's some inner conflict. We know there's some competition and it feels like somebody here doesn't like it. I don't think it's you. I think it's someone else. In your environment coming in, what can you expect? Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that returns to the scene of the crime or they get caught, right? They've lied, cheated, stolen. They stole all the Pop-Tarts, but they're going to get caught. And that's why that Five of Swords is, oh, I've won the battle, 
right? But what the Five of Swords doesn't realize is he's lost the war. And with that Seven of Swords coming in, this is what the environment's bringing in. Mm -mm. Seven of Swords in reverse says, uh-uh, you got caught being a sneaky, deaky jerk or a biatch, right? And again, this is why with the Six of Pentacles. Because, you know, again, somebody could be given to other people to here in love. Could be you, Cancer. Like, you're trying to decide on, you know, who you want to give your time to. But I just get the sense also, if you guys have dealt with somebody who's been maybe a little, let's just say shady, you have a newer connection coming in and this person isn't going to like it. What's going on in your hopes or fears? Four of Wands. You want stability, happiness, celebrations, right? A new beginning. This Four of Wands is very abundant energy. It's something to celebrate. It brings that joy into your life, into your home. And I think for a lot of you, it is more balanced with, you know, work and life and relationships. And you're finally being given credit or you're being given this opportunity to where it will provide more um, stability in your, in your life. A lot of you want to settle down. You want a relationship. You don't want to play around. And for a lot of you, you're finding that person, but just be careful because you got somebody else that's like, mm, cancer, not so fast. Look at you showing up in the outcome, male or female. Queen of Cups is always cancerian energy for me. Love, right? The Queen of Cups has the love and the emotion to offer, but if you look at her, she's kind of looking down at the cup. She says, I'm going to use my intuition before I open up that cup and offer the love. So it feels like a little bit of hesitation on your part because you're just, it, it feels cautious whether this is a new opportunity to make more money, you know, um, a better job or more responsibility at work or something like that, or in a relationship of some sort. You're really, really going to rely on your intuition to see who can I trust this month. You're being thrown a couple different options, a couple different people, and you're in the upright in that outcome, which I love. So you're in your element, but you will definitely hone in on that intuition to make the right decision. The clarifier will tell us what that is, but let's do it. All right, I'm going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot to clarify this bad bitch of a reading. Hey, if y'all want to check out the extended reading, I'll put that link in the description box. We'll open up this reading even more and dive deeper into that outcome. I'll also pin it in the comments section. All right, Cancer, let's see what's up for September. Everyday Witch Tarot, let's do it. So coming into September, you're going to experience this uh, Ace of Wands. Um, an attraction, a spark. It is some sort of new beginning that you're passionate about. Doesn't have to just be love. Ace of Wands. Yeah, with the Two of Wands. It'll set you out on a path. You've got another card of Wands, which really indicates that fire, right? It's all about taking action. He's got the world in his hand. So th there's a new path that's opening for you. But again, you're going to kind of proceed with caution. You're going to be a little bit at a, at a crossroads. Why? Because you're waiting on the clarity, whether that's your intuition giving you that clarity, this person speaking up, communicating the truth, Ace of Swords, Aquarius, with the Ten of Wands, closing out a cycle. you got a 10 right next to these wands here. So we know something's closing out that's been very heavy. It's been a burden. It's been back-breaking, right? But it's because the universe is bringing you this new start, this new beginning, which will be successful with the Ace of Swords. I think that the Ten of Wands, the burden, the heaviness, is making the decision to move forward. Because we know that you've already released Maybe you haven't physically moved away or physically moved away from a person, but with the hanged man in reverse, Pisces energy, that's really like, listen, I'm no longer going to stick around in limbo, right? I refuse to do that. And you've got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Some of you got out of a relationship, could be with somebody that was, well, not real nice. Maybe they were abusive, Cancer. Maybe they just didn't treat you well or they cheated, they lied, they stole something, something bad. And you really took the time. You started to kind of go within. And with that Hierophant energy, that is guidance. That is, you know, educating yourself on spirituality. It's, it's you know, really – the Hierophant can be a teacher, a guide. Some of you started to spend more time on yourself, doing yoga, exercising, researching, reading. It's a very spiritual energy as well because you refuse to stay in that energy 
where, you know, there was a situation that was bad for you or a person that was really taking you for granted. What's on your mind? Five of wands. And the, there's that Ace of Swords again. Another Ace of Swords. Aquarius. Could be Libra, Gemini. It's usually Aquarius for me. Could be anybody, right? Especially you have air in your chart. But, oh man, this is like that inner conflict, that struggle. Like, am I ready? Am I ready for this new beginning, right? I do think it's a competitive situation if um, two things. If this is a new job opportunity or even like going back to school, learning something, like you have to be picked for something, something like that. It's definitely competitive. You definitely have some like cutthroat people in the way here, right? They're going to try to win at all costs. But with the Ace of Swords on your mind, you know there's success. You know there's victory here. You're waiting on that communication to come in. In relationships, it feels like there's somebody new that kind of has your interest. You have their interest, but you have this lingering energy as well of somebody that probably really did a number on you. That's what it feels like. It's all happening because of the Six of Pentacles. Why? Earth energy and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You could have been connecting maybe with an earth sign or somebody who was just all about themselves, right? Maybe their career, their money. This could have been somebody that was very stingy. That hanged man in reverse can be very stubborn energy as well that you were dealing with. We're getting a lot of Taurus here. King of Pentacles in reverse is, you know, not about a commitment. The King of Pentacles in reverse is not loyal, right? He might even be having financial um, hardships. But more so on that Six of Pentacles, I feel like what's why it's all going down is because relationships, not just love, relationships in general, Cancer, you've been dealing with very stingy, selfish people, and you haven't been given what you deserve. Could be financial, but also just that lack of balance, right? Something that has been very one-sided. And they're in the near future. That's why you'll experience this five of swords. Someone refuses to let you kind of continue on this journey of healing and this kind of going through this awakening. What's this five of swords about coming into the near future? Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. Something comes to light. You've got Pisces major arcana there. This is, you know, guess what? Nothing is, you know, the secret has been revealed. Things are coming to light. The high priestess in reverse on that five of swords is you find out something about someone here. Yes, they were malicious. You probably all already knew they were up to no good, but you're going to find out even more, unfortunately. Something is revealed to a person here as well. Oh, can cancer is being chosen for the promotion or you're getting the new job or you're getting more financial stability or something like that. And they don't like that. And they're like, oh, hell no. I'm going to get this opportunity. Or Cancer's meeting someone new. They always waited for me. They always did everything for me, even though I screwed them over time and time again. Oh, hell no. That's not happening. So it's a very, and again, I go to your outcome. You're in the upright. You're in your element. And so it just feels like you've always kind of been there for someone. You've always done your best. You've worked hard. You've done everything you're supposed to do. And once you start having that taste of success or something new, somebody doesn't like it. You see yourself as the world opening for you, options opening. You may feel a little bit overwhelmed because there are choices and decisions. Seven of Cups with the five of, yeah, see, you have that inner conflict. I think if this is um, a job opportunity or something going on in your career or the you know, ability to maybe even have something on the side to make more money, to bring in more balance because you feel a financial burden. You may, those options are opening up and it looks like a candy in the candy store, Cancer. But with the five of wands, it may be a little bit of a struggle. You may have a little bit of inner conflict. How do I balance all this? How do I do it all? Well, with the six of pentacles in the foundation, the universe is saying you can, you can do it right? But you're going to have to get your shit together and you're going to have to rely on your intuition, right? And make that choice or decision. And you also, a lot of you also know there's a competitive situation going on here in love, right? There could even be drama in relationships in general in your life and you're a little bit overwhelmed, right? Now, the competitive situation, again, I think is you've been surrounding yourself with somebody that's been quite 
toxic, nasty, and you've got a new opportunity around you. And throughout the month of September, you feel a little bit conflicted or overwhelmed. Who or what's coming in in your environment? Seven of Swords in reverse with the Six of Wands. You know, and this kind of feels like somebody you've already been around and you find, like I said before, you find out even more about them. Like they get caught doing something here and it's giving their time, energy, attention, something to someone else. They've been doing other things on the side, Cancer. And I don't mean in the sheets necessarily. This could be anything. Hell, this could be, you know, your best friend who promised, you know, they were going to do something for you and they didn't. They, they stabbed you in the back and they did it for somebody else. You always knew they were kind of shady, but something is revealed. And what's revealed is they're going to get caught because it's coming out. And it's really about kind of an attention whore. I'm just saying, six of wands, that's somebody that likes a lot of attention. There's a little bit of ego there. They like to get praised. They like to get the pat on the back. They like to be paraded around, right? And it just feels like you went out on something. You're elevating up. This person either wants what you're getting or they expect you to stay right where you are. And you're just not, you're not doing it. So this is discovered. This will be revealed. And you're over here in September and your emotions, you just want stability. You want happiness. You want a lot of you guys are trying to move, but you need a better paying job to do so. You just want something stable, commitments, relationships. You've got a king of wands in reverse in your emotions. We've got two kings in reverse. Could this be the same person? Yeah. They could be a mixture of fire and earth. Or they're just a big, fat, cheater, liar, player who is just not loyal with the King of Pentacles in reverse. They might even be stingy with their money. And so in your emotions, you're trying to get away from this energy. And I will preface, this could even be a boss, Cancer. But if it is a boss, a work situation, you've got some another opportunity coming your way. But I will warn you, it will be a competitive situation. And there's somebody that's kind of nasty and they're willing to do whatever they need to do to get what you want and what you're you're probably getting. That could be love too. I really feel like there's a person here in love who does not want to see you move forward. Why is the outcome the Queen of Cups? That's Cancer Energy. Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Could there be an age difference? Yes, there could. There could be an age difference. We've got Sagittarius showing up again. Leo Sag Aries getting a lot of fire in this reading. You have a realization by the end of the month, and this is just across the board, with anybody you're connecting with that you know is a little bit, eh, maybe not who you want to bring home to mom, right? Maybe they haven't done, they haven't treated you the best in the past. That's why that cup is closed. You're looking down at that cup. That intuition is spot on. Do I take this opportunity or do I go back? Do I stay where I've been or do I head towards something new? And that Knight of Wands is in pursuit. The Knight of Wands is coming. He's going. It's the arrival of something. And there's a lot of passion with that something. What's this Knight of Wands? Oh, my God. You got the Knight of Swords. A lot of times when I get two knights like that together, it's the arrival of something unexpected. It is. Now you've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Look how he looks kind of pissed. He looks angry. You're over here minding your business, excited about this new opportunity, and you've got somebody that's just trying to rain on your parade. That's why that cup is closed. You're like, come on, intuition. Don't, don't let me down now. Because you have somebody in pursuit of you. And I think this is a different night. They're looking in opposite directions. This is the person that doesn't want to see you move on, the boss that doesn't want to see you move on, the lover that doesn't want to see you move on, the friend or family member or a, comp a competitor in a job opportunity that doesn't want you to be in pursuit of this. What's after this Knight of Swords? We'll dive deeper in the extended. What's this Knight of Swords about? And the three of pentacles because you have others that want to collaborate with you. I It's a great month in work and money for cancer. This is building. This is that teamwork. This is people coming to you and saying, yeah, we think you do a great job. Let's work together. Let's build and collaborate. 
This is also, you know, conversations and relationships about building for the future. I think you go for it. Whatever these aces is this kind of clarity, this passion, this newness. You have somebody kind of pulling back on your energy and holding you back a little bit, even though you've decided to move on from it. They're still lingering. Again, it could be a friend or a boss that doesn't want to see you move on. It could be a lover. It can be anybody. We just know cancer is super intuitive this month. You've got a lot of new opportunities. You are going to be involved in a competitive situation. So just know that. And any way you read it, that competitive situation is a person that's like, I'm going to win at all costs. And I'm angry that cancer is taking other opportunities. But when it's all said and done, you will with that three of pentacles. This looks excellent for a new job opportunity, a promotion, more money, something like that. But you're not the only one who wants it. But it feels like you win out. We're going to dive deeper, whomever this is showing up for you. We're going to dive into their feelings. We're going to see how they feel about you. Uh, throughout September. We're going to see what their next move is. I want to dive more into what that Three of Pentacles is for y'all. This can be my dating card as well. You're kind of getting to know someone new, but you're going to have to kick somebody out of your life for good if you want to go towards this Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cup or the uh, Ace of Wands. We've got another Ace of Swords here. We know it's a burden to you, but you got to close out that chapter. All right, if you want a free private reading, I am going to randomly pick a winner on September 19th. All you have to do to enter is just let me know your moon sign below in the comments, and uh, you could get a free private reading. I'll, like I said, I'll pick that on September 19th, randomly pick through out of all the comments. You can go comment on any of the readings, by the way. It doesn't have to just be this reading. So again, like, share, and subscribe for me. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, I love you hard. Love me hard back. If y'all want a private reading, all that info is below as well. Take care and we'll speak soon.